Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Thomas Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to hide your real IP address. I'm gonna be showing you very visually, so if you're new to VPNs, if you're new to understanding your IP address, this is the video for you guys. Now, I'll be putting my recommended VPNs and favorite privacy products in the description down below. I'm one of the only YouTube channels out there that uses no YouTube ads because I stand by people not liking ads. I also use no sponsorships either. Every product I recommend, I actually use and I'm an affiliate for and I test every day to make sure you guys like those products. So if you wanna help support the channel and you like videos like these, check out some of my favorite privacy products in the description down below, especially a VPN. I also have vpntierless.com with pretty much every VPN rated, which is very helpful for you guys. So guys, let's go ahead and talk about IP addresses. Well, what is an IP address at first glance? Well, basically it's like your computer's address. Think of it kind of like your home address. Um, and it's kind of one of those things you do kind of want to keep private. Um, just like where you're living at home in your apartment or your house, generally you don't want people on the internet knowing that because they could find out where you are. Your IP address is pretty much the same thing. It's like your, your computer's digital footprint. And if someone finds your IP address, they could generally kind of figure out the general city you're in. However, that said, they can't always find the exact geolocation. So at least there's that. And there are kind of limited things people can do with your IP address besides maybe DDoSing you. Now, DDoSing can happen in video games and stuff like this. And VPNs are used actually to anonymize IPs and prevent DDoSing, especially in tournaments and those kind of things. However, DDoSing can be pretty expensive and doesn't really happen to basic consumers and kind of normal users. Um, but generally, you don't want someone finding your IP address online. Um, this, like I said, so they could kind of find out your general location or address. And from that data point, they can extrapolate kind of where you are based on other criteria. Maybe they know your first name. Maybe they know the city you're in. Or maybe they know where you work or something like that. Sometimes that could be enough to find out your last name. And then from there, your, your house's address from there. So that's also something to think about. Now, if you guys weren't aware, there's also other services out there that can help you if that does happen, if someone does find your IRL address. And that's one of the products I'm gonna be recommending below. That's gonna be Incogni. Now, Incogni is one of those products where it will remove your information from the internet from data brokers. So if someone does find your IP, maybe even your name, um, this will help you remove websites that have access to information. So something like white pages, if someone finds your name, it's going to remove that information from white pages so someone can't find your address. But more specifically, let's go ahead and talk about the IP addresses and how you can hide it. Um, well, basically, in the real world example, this could be your IP. Maybe let's say 65.143.2.1. This is your real IP. Now you need to change that IP. How do you hide the IP? Well, you use a VPN. Now, what does a VPN do? Well, it's basically an application on your computer or your phone or anything like that, and you just connect to a remote server. So let's say you're in LA, you'll connect to an LA server on that VPN, and it's gonna scramble and change your VPN to a different IP. Now, this IP is gonna be the VPN's IP address, and it's typically gonna be shared with other users on that network to give you even more anonymity. Lots of people use VPNs to torrent things because it has that anonymity factor of being able to kind of do more things without getting in trouble. And some people generally like it to hide and protect themselves online. Another benefit of a VPN is it does encrypt your internet traffic, which means your ISP can't see if you're watching prawn or any other things like that. So that's a, an added bonus. ISPs or your internet service provider likes to kind of creep on you and sell that information. So that's also annoying. Uh, additionally, when you're browsing online, whether you're commenting on a forum or something like that, changing your IP can be beneficial because one, someone can't see where you are, but two, you can also bypass restrictions. So if a website bans you, you could sometimes bypass that restriction, especially in something like Discord or other websites like Netflix enforce what are called geo restrictions. This means that you can't access that website to access specific libraries. Some VPNs allow you to access other libraries you might not be able to access without a VPN. So let's say you're in the United States, you could connect to a VPN to get access to a Japanese Netflix library, which has more anime. So that's another cool benefit. But guys, let's go ahead and talk about, you know, if, if you're kind of convinced on that use case, how do you decide on a VPN? Well, I've made another little chart here of my top three VPNs here on the channel. That's TorGuard, Surfshark, and NordVPN. Now, which one should you choose and why? Well, each one I think has pros and cons depending on you know your specific use case and budget and things like that. 
Now guys, I did make a little quiz here on my website where you could go to vpntierless.com, click on the, cl the quiz link um, that is going to be, here it is. And then this will help you pick the perfect VPN for you. It's only one question and you kind of decide on which one you want from here. And that's kind of the basis of what we're using today in our diagram. We're kind of deciding on the specific kind of use case you need. If you need something that is as cheap as possible, um, might have a little bit jankiness factor, but is very trusted as a company and has great customer support, stuff like that, and is very, very budget friendly, I'm gonna say go with TorGuard. If you use my code TOMSPARK2023, you could get this for around $5 a month and around $70 for three years. Um, so this is an excellent budget product. product. Um, sometimes the speeds can be a little bit iffy on the Sox5 proxy. Um, you can use this core VPN though, and it's perfectly fast. Um, the Sox5 proxy is basically a URL you'll put in the queue BitTorrent. If you guys don't know what that is, I've made tutorials on the channel. You can look up Sox5 proxy versus VPN on YouTube, and you can find more information about that if you're not sure what that is. But basically, it's a way to kind of use our URL. You put in your credentials, and then you could anonymize your IP wall using a browser or even stuff like uh, torrent activity. So that's definitely something to think about. Um, but what is the difference between Surf Nord and TorGuard? Well, I would say Surf and Nord VPN, they're actually sister companies that have a much more polished look and feel about them. They also natively unblock services like Netflix, which means you can unlock more libraries. TorGuard requires you to get a streaming bundle, which is another kind of clunk factor of the service. Um, these ones just natively work and unblock a lot of geo restrictions, which is a cool thing about them. Surfshark is probably one of my favorite VPNs for its bundled component. They have very good bundles on the website. Um, stuff like Incogni, like I said, it's actually made by Surfshark and you can get it for a bundled price. If we go take a look at Surfshark, you can see what I'm talking about. They have something called Surfshark um, One Plus, and this includes Incogni. It also includes some other cool bonuses like anonymization of your email and these kind of cool things, and even antivirus. So Surfshark is definitely a good product if you want a really good bundled offering. NordVPN, like I said, it's a sister company. They're owned by the same, um, I guess, um, owners. Um, it's like two separate companies owned by the same holding company though and they kind of like merged um but nordvpn is very similar to surfshark um it's a little bit more expensive it does have a couple extra features like it has that sox proxy like torguard does surfshark does not have that feature if you're looking for that specifically um, but nord is a little bit faster than torguard with its sox proxy that said, both Surf and Nord have a little bit more of a marketing component to their product line. Um, they have a little bit more trackers on their website. They use Google Analytics. Some of these things, people who want VPNs, they don't really want some of those things on the websites, and that's where TorGuard sells. It doesn't have any trackers on the website, no cookies or anything like that. So it's kind of more a, a clean kind of product, I would say. But these ones are a little bit more easy to use and have some pretty cool bundled offerings. Um, so overall, guys, that's kind of what you have to think about. Like I said, you could take the quiz and this will help you as well. Um, make sure to check out all the rankings and stuff like that. I hope you understood from this video what an IP is, how to anonymize it with a VPN, which VPN to choose, as well as some of the other things I mentioned. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video very soon.